Hi, I'm Jeff Nelson of VegSource.com. As many of you know, each year we put on an event here in Southern California called the Healthy Lifestyle Expo. Over two and a half days, we bring in top experts in the field of health and nutrition to speak on a variety of topics. We do this as part of our mission to bring the best information possible about how to have a healthy, plant-strong lifestyle. We have these talks professionally videotaped so that people who aren't able to enjoy the event live can share in the experience afterwards on DVD. I think you'll enjoy this brief excerpt from the talk of dietitian Jeff Novick on the Get Healthy Now Red DVD set. Uh, here's the coating down here. And uh, this contrast is a little bad, but it starts coming in right around 1990, where it's mostly 10%. Look what happens, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 97, first state's over 20%. This is obesity, not overweight. 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Look how the landscape of America has changed in 19 years. And you know what follows right behind this? Diabetes, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is a crisis. That's America, that's Chicago at a mall, and that's kids today. Yeah. So, you can't fix what you don't admit, September 2nd. Amongst the overweight, 30% believed they were actually normal size. Amongst the obese, 70% felt they were a little bit overweight. Amongst the morbidly obese, 60% believed they were just obese, and 40% considered themselves just a little overweight. How can you fix this if they don't think anything's wrong? I, I go to Fort Lauderdale Airport all the time, and they just opened a new health restaurant so we can eat healthy. And it's called Poshers, Healthy Mediterranean Cuisine. All natural, no preservatives, no added, no trans fats, no MSG. So they have a full menu at a healthy restaurant, but part of that menu was the healthy menu. So I figured I was okay. So I took a picture of it. I thought about ordering the filet mignon wrap dipped in mayonnaise <laughs> and yogurt. That's healthy out there. That's why they're confused. Um, uh, this was the salad at the airport, the healthy salad. It had as many calories as a quarter pounder. It had more fat. It had more calories from fat. It had more, uh, same saturated fat, more cholesterol, more sodium, and barely more fiber. So people are eating this, thinking they're eating this, and they're really eating. And I said, what did you eat yesterday? And they said, I had a? Salad. No, you didn't look like a salad. You ate a double cheeseburger. OK, let's keep going. Remember this? High fat, low fat? It wasn't the fat. High protein, low protein? It wasn't the protein, even though this is more medium because of the lentils. It's not the protein. It was the volume. Two low-fat Fig Newtons versus one small cantaloupe, 140 calories, which fills you up more? Now, do you know those are both low-fat, high-carb, adequate protein foods? They both have the exact same ratio of protein, carb to fat. Now, there are diet books out there telling you that if you just got in a certain zone, protein, carb to fat ratio, you'd get full, easier. They have the identical ratio. Is that true? Now, in 1980, if you heard the message to go on a low-fat, high-carb diet, and you went and chose these foods, can you see the problem? Yeah. If you ate all day till you were comfortably full, what happened to your caloric intake? Out the roof. But if you wanted to limit it to like 1,600 calories, what happened? You're starving all day. OK. Sugar. 450 calories, that's the amount of calories in a two pound fresh pineapple and four ounces of gummy bears. They also have the exact same ratio of protein, fat, and carb. They also have the exact same amount of sugar in them. Yeah, no, I make this stuff up. <laughs> okay, yeah, the exact same amount. Are they equally filling? No. 
Same, what's 90% of the weight and volume? Water. It's a beautiful package full of water and fiber and vitamins and minerals and nutrients. What's this 90% of the volume and weight? Sugar. So is sugar the problem or the package? Package. So I'm going to show you a few other foods, and we'll just look at them. I'm going to ask you the same questions on every example. They're all 200 calories. They're all the same plate, same distance, same camera. That's grapes, and that's uh, uh, butter. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> OK. Which has more fiber, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, phytochemicals, antioxidants, and phytochem phytosterols? Yes. Guess which one's lower on the glycemic index? <laughs> which would fill you up more? Yes. OK, carrots and mixed nuts. Which has more fiber, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, antioxidants, phytochemicals? The carrots. Which would fill you up more? Yes. Which is lower on the glycemic index? Nuts, doing good. Honeydew and French fries, which has more fiber, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, antioxidants, phytochemicals, and phyto. I got to learn to do that like Dr. Eggleston does the green leafy thing. <laughs> the honeydew, which will fill you up more? Which is lower on the glycemic index? French fries. Apples and olive oil, which has more fiber, vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, all that. Which is lower on the glycemic index? Olive oil, <laughs> broccoli and pretzels. Same questions. <laughs> this guy's drooling over the broccoli. <laughs> so let's keep going. Four of my favorite studies, one slide, and then we'll do a fifth one that just came out. So they do ad libitum feedings, because as 70% of Americans have proven, we like to eat ad libitum. So they put them at a buffet of pasta, and it was like a lasagna, a typical American lasagna. They said, how much do you, you, know, how much do you eat? And they measured it. It was about 800 calories. So then they said, OK, next, we're going to give you a salad, 50 calories. It's around like two or three cups. It's not a lot. A little salad. Eat the salad first with the low-fat, fat-free dressing. And it was, you know, tasted good. They made sure of that. Then go eat the lasagna. Guess what happened to the total caloric intake? If you ate a salad before the buffet, what happened? Total caloric intake went down 7%. So for a 50-calorie salad, it went down 7%. Now, I'm going to take a liberty here and do some extrapolation. If you apply this every meal every day to the average American diet of 2,000 calories, by making this one move, the average American loses 14 pounds. So they said a, a little is good. More is better, they doubled the salad. Eat this salad first, then go eat the lasagna. Guess what happened to total caloric intake? It went down 12%. So if you allow me to extrapolate, which isn't really fair, but just to show you what could happen. So then they said, OK, you're going to have to go live in the real world. So they set up a regular salad bar. And they had the lasagna. And they gave them a plate. And they said, go to the salad bar, make a salad, then go to the Lasagna. So they did what most Americans do. They took the plate, they went to the salad bar, they got to the lettuce, they put a little lettuce on. Well, not that much lettuce, so they put lettuce back, and then they filled it full of bacon and cheese, and <laughs> they're Americans. Guess what happened to total caloric intake? It went up 10%. So then they said, let's have a big bowl of soup. They actually didn't measure the calories, but you know, you got to figure around 100, 150, a big bowl of soup. So eat the big bowl of vegetable soup, then go eat the buffet. Guess what happened to total caloric intake? It went down 20%. That's 40 pounds. OK, here's your test question number one. Why did the soup lower calorie density more than even the vegetables? Everybody's doing great. So then they got a glass of juice. 150 calories, 8 ounces of orange juice. They drank the juice, waited a minute, and then they went to the buffet. Guess what happened to total caloric intake? It went up exactly the calories in the juice. Liquid calories don't trigger satiety mechanisms very well at all. The average American right now, which I think is, um, this number is off, is 400 calories a day from liquid calories. If all you do is cut that out, if that's you, that's 40 pounds in a year. 
Have you ever been to Starbucks? <laughs> Have you ever been to the movies? That's low. Very low. I think when they redo the numbers, it'll come out closer to 800. But we'll go with what they say. So this one just came out not too long ago, and this one's a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of fun. I don't know if any of you have the fun I have, but um, they did the same thing. They sent them to a buffet. They got to eat all they wanted. It was 1,000 calories. Then they said, let's eat an apple, a whole apple just sliced. Eat the apple first, then go to the buffet. Total caloric intake went down 15%. That's how much less they ate. That was the calories of the apple. 15% by eating one big apple, medium to big apple. So it went down 15%. That's 30 pounds in a year. Woo! Now it gets interesting. So they bought one of those fancy blenders. <laughs> you know which ones. <laughs> and they put the apple in it, and they turned it on, and it whizzed. Woo! So now what do you, you didn't lose anything, right? And they put it in the bowl, and they said, eat this, then go to the buffet. Guess what happened? They only reduced their intake 6%. The exact same food. What happened? Anybody? The fiber changed. The structure of the fiber changed. You see, fiber is a long chain of carbohydrate molecules. And it works best in all these forms. There's branches and chains and everything. It holds water and volume. But when you break it up and increase surface area, guess what happens? It doesn't work very well, even if the same exact food. So then they put it through the juicer. You know those juicers? And you know all the stuff that comes out the end? They collected it, put it back in the glass. And they made them drink it. Thank God I just read these studies. <laughs> no difference. Why? Liquid calories. The fiber's been pulverized. It doesn't really matter. There was a 1% difference. So then they just gave them straight juice, and what happened? Calories went up. Don't drink your calories. Eat them. Don't even blend them if you don't have to, especially for weight. This is just a short excerpt from a presentation on the Get Healthy Now Red DVD set. This DVD set contains a total of 12 fascinating talks on three DVDs, over 13 hours of information in all. The talks include Dr. Matthew Liederman on Navigating Through Health and Medical Misinformation. Learn how to avoid being misled by pharmaceutical studies in order to make decisions based on reality. Dr. Joel Furman gives two talks, Metabolism and Hunger, which shows you how to lose weight easily and permanently, and longevity and cancer prevention, how to protect yourself from the toxic environment. Dr. John McDougall presents a research update, diet, multiple sclerosis, and autoimmune diseases on how to prevent and reverse arthritis, MS, type one diabetes, and other autoimmune diseases. And Dr. McDougall gives a second talk called The Starch Solution, documenting how the optimum human diet for thousands of years has been, and today continues to be, based on starchy foods. Jeff Novick presents Healthy Living Made Easy, How to Succeed Without Trying, providing practical tips and information for easily and effortlessly adopting a health-promoting diet. Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn presents Ending the Coronary Disease Epidemic and shares for the first time the impressive results of hundreds of patients in his private practice who have successfully followed his heart disease reversal program over many years. Rip Esselstyn presents Plant Strong, Taking It to the Next Level, sharing the secrets of Plant Strong success that many leaders of industry and sports legends have used as the cornerstone for their robust health. John Robbins presents Antidote to a Mean World, revealing fascinating information about his famous family and uplifting stories of transformation and hope. Reverend Hung Shur presents I Am What I Eat, Meeting Myself at Mealtime, examining historical dietary traditions of different peoples and how culture and media influence the food choices we all make. There's also a lively panel discussion with experts taking questions from the audience, as well as cooking demos from our cooks presenting easy, delicious, and nutritious recipes. 
Most doctors recommend prescriptions and procedures, which for the most part just mask or delay your inevitable decline from chronic illnesses. The medical experts on Get Healthy Now Red DVD give you practical information and education so you can take charge of your health yourself and actually save yourself from serious diseases. The Red DVD contains 12 talks on three DVDs, over 13 hours of critical health information. If you purchased each talk individually, you could spend $240 to get this life-saving information. But the Get Healthy Now Red DVD is only $89.95, including shipping. This information could save you thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of dollars in medical bills and help ensure you have the best chance of a healthy, happy life throughout your life. Don't let poor health control you. Make sure you have the latest information to get and stay healthy always. Go to VegSource.com and click on Store and buy a copy of Get Healthy Now Red DVD today.